Hello, welcome to another in our series of Intergraph CADWorks and Analysis Solutions videos featuring CADWorks. Hi everybody, thanks for joining us. Uh, today's webinar is going to be a very easy topic um, and if you were ever curious as to how or what it takes to convert your non-intelligent PNID to intelligent PNIDs, we'll learn that today. Um, the steps are actually quite simple. Okay, so this is more than anything is going to be a very quick overview, a technical demonstration on today's topic. Okay, so we're going to learn how to how to make your non-intelligent PNIDs become intelligent without having to redraw them. And there is a lot of different ways you can you can do this. There's things that uh, the main step is adding external data, mapping mapping attributes if you have intelligent blocks, um, and then the, you know blocks can basically become intelligent right away if you have the correct blocks. So let's just get started in discussing a few things before actually getting into it. Okay, let's discuss what is it that you need. Well, you need CADWorks PNID Professional to get this to work. And the reason you need CADWorks PNID Pro Professional is if you want to convert to non-intelligent blocks and intelligent blocks is because we need to insert the drawing into the database. Okay, and that's how we make them intelligent. So the drawing has to live in the, in the database. There has to be a copy of the drawing in the database. Now, there is, we say there's three easy steps, but in reality there's just basically one step, okay? And there, uh, so you, the, the one step to converting your non-intelligent components to intelligent is this ax, uh, external uh, data add function, okay? So you add your drawing to the database, then you run this command that allows us to add external data to our components, okay? And then you repeat the command over and over throughout the different drawings that you have. We'll run through it uh, to show you how you can get started with that. So again, all you have to do is you add a drawing to the database, then you run a command called uh, xdataAdd, and that'll get us started. Now, this xdataAdd command, the way it works, okay, and you guys need to know this, is the way it works, it selects a block. Not, not just any block, okay? If you want to use this and if you want to take advantage of the command that we have here, what you need to make sure you have is a block that has AutoCAD attributes. Okay? So what this command does, it lets you select the AutoCAD block that has attributes. Okay? And what it does, it filters all the AutoCAD attributes that are available for that block and it lets you map it to the table that we have. Now, in CADWorks, what this table is, is basically a table in the database, okay? Each table contains a record for, there's different tables for, as you can see here, in this table setup, okay? There's different tables for instruments, lines, mechanical components, valves, vessels, etc. So all of these different tables have different information, okay? And this is the information that gets mapped from your AutoCAD block to the table. Now, one more thing to know is, if all the if you don't see a value or field that you want present, okay, after you convert the block to an intelligent block, all you have to do, okay, the first thing you want to make sure you do is you you make the changes at the beginning, okay. But all you have to do is basically go in this table setup, and at the beginning, it's the easiest way to do it. So at the beginning, when you're first starting a new project. What you want to make sure you do is you review all of this data and make sure you have all the fields that you want before actually converting a non-intelligent PNID into an intelligent PNID. And it can work, work very seamlessly, very smoothly if you have AutoCAD attributed blocks. So keep that in mind. Okay, the trick to running external data add is if you have AutoCAD blocks that have attributes already there. Why? Because as I mentioned before, we take this command that's right here, this add, external add data add function. And what it does, it reads the attributed block data and then it maps it to the data that's inside this table setup that's been predefined for your project. Okay? So that's, that's all you have to do. Now, there's other things that you can do as well. Uh, let me get started with PNID so we can discuss a few other things. So that external, that xdata add function is located right here, okay? So this allows us to select that AutoCAD block that has attributes in it and lets us map the data, 
Okay. And then the same way, we have uh, other functions that kind of pertain to the same command, and it's remove X data. So if you ever want to go in there and remove the X data to any one of these components, meaning I, do, I want an item for some reason not to be part of the database, then what you can do is simply select the component and remove the X data from those components. So this is what mainly we're going to concentrate on today. <coughs> There's other things you can do as well. Okay, so let's say you don't have an AutoCAD block. Okay, and this happens a lot if you have PNIDs because a lot of times if you if you have a PNID, they're drawn with basic AutoCAD, and what ends up happening is that your designers, those guys that are drawing the PNIDs, they get comfortable with AutoCAD, and they not that they start getting lazy, but it's just easier for you to copy and paste, copy and paste, and sometimes what ends up happening through that process is as you're copying and pasting is things get exploded, information is lost, things are no longer a block. So this nice function right here, okay, this command that we see here, uh, make group, actually allows us to select what is supposed to be a block and convert it into one group. So if a block consists of many different lines that makes up a vessel or a valve, you can literally just window that group you make an intelligent CAD works group, okay? And this command works very easy, and I can show you that at the end of the webinar. So let's go ahead and get started. So what I've done is the way CAD works works, okay, is let's come in here and let's look at uh, uh, the directory that I'm going to be using. So here I'm using this directory. In this directory, okay, everybody has access to this one directory. I've put this one uh, legacy drawing. Okay, it's just a drawing that has some blocks, AutoCAD blocks in there that has attributes. Okay, so we have an attributed block uh, drawing. Okay, so that we're going to use to convert this drawing into a CADWorks drawing. So let's come in here, and what we're going to do is I already have one of the drawings that are open as part of that project. I just I did that so I can activate that project. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to say, okay, I want to navigate to that directory, and I want to open that drawing. So the first thing it says is, hey, this drawing does not exist in the drawing in the drawing in the project, right? So I'm going to insert it into the database. Okay. So what have we done? Okay, we've added to the database that one drawing. Now what do we do next? Thank you for sharing your time with us. For CADWorks news, free webinars, or success stories, Google CADWorks Insider Blog.